Okay, so to install the accelerator pedal, before we go to bolt it into um, the floorboard, what we have to do first is remove the bracket that's installed to the pedal uh, from GM. You can see it's got the three bolts here, and then there's this hole here so that the uh, raised portion of the pedal can go through it. So we've basically duplicated that in our mounting bracket. So it will unbolt from the bracket and then bolt the same way onto our bracket here on the left. Um, we'll use these same bolts. It's a 10 millimeter uh, socket and wrench to remove the bolt. And then of course to fasten it to the pedal. Once you do that and you have it bolted down to the bracket, you can then pull the pedal and it'll swing down. There's a little pin here. And when you just when you pull that out, it will click into place and then the pedal will be fully extended all the way down. From there, one other thing to note is that this one has the mill light, the check engine light on it, so make sure that that's on there with uh, the pigtail before you install it. And what we're going to do is these brackets, these two here, and then these two on the other side, somewhat dictate where uh, forward and back the plate will mount onto the, uh, the floorboard. Uh, since the angle of these flanges here matches the angle of the floorboard. So what we need to do is we need to determine the height of um, the pedal. So you can see we've already got it installed here. Again, what you do is you'll, you'll hold that up with the pedal. You can see the pin is popped in, into position and the pedal is down. Uh, and forward and back is again pretty much set by the uh, bends of those flanges. And then what we've done is from the floor, you'll measure up from the bottom of the floor, like that, to the bottom edge of the bracket right here, 11 inches off of the floor. You can mark the holes one, two, three, and four uh, with a silver sharpie or the paint pen. Take the bracket away, drill the holes with the quarter inch uh, short double ended drill bit, being careful not to go too far when it goes through the um, wall of the trunk floor because the engine is right on the other side, particularly in the in the rearmost holes here. Um, you don't want to hit any of the wiring or hit the heat shield on the exhaust manifold. Then once you have those four holes drilled, you can put your quarter twenty button heads through the hole. Then on the on the inside of the the tunnel where the heat shield is, you'll use a quarter inch by one inch fender washer to spread the load of uh, tightening the bolt down. And of course your quarter 20 nylon lock nut. And that's a uh, 5 30 seconds Allen on the head of the bolt and a 7 16 wrench on the nut.